Well, in World War II, we decided to have a gunnery conference to get together on the best way to shoot down enemy aircraft. This was a fighter pilots conference. And they brought in fighter pilots from all three branches of service that existed at that time. The Army Air Corps, the Navy Air Arm, what they called the Brown Shoe Navy, and the Marine Air Force. And they brought in all these people and they assembled them out here at a place called Matagorda Island. Perhaps some of you have been there. At that time, we had a big air base out there. So all of these, all of the aces and all the fighter pilots all flew into this particular uh, play conference. And uh, of course, everyone flew in in a different way. For example, the fighter pilots all came down and buzzed the ramp. And then just as soon as they were right down on the deck there, just a few feet off, uh, going uh, four or five hundred miles an hour in this pop jot, the Shondell, the top of the Shondell, they dropped their wheels and then they dove in and landed, power on landing. Well, the Navy boys uh, off the carriers all came in in what we call stall and fall. They would make their approach and just before they'd come in, they'd pull their horse back on the stick and stall the plane, the plane would go clunk and drop on the ground, boom, 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 down the runway. So, of course, there was a lot of kidding at this conference about the stall and fall boys and how do you ever survive it and all the rest of it. And while this kidding back and forth, we finally got into a serious discussion one night. And in this discussion, it was talking about flying training and how you train pilots. And so I asked one of the Navy boys there, I said, look, where do you actually kill most of your pilots in training? How do they get killed? Oh, he says, the simplest thing in the world. He says, we get, they get killed when they first start their carrier landing. Yeah, they have what they call an LSO, that's a landing signal officer. And this guy stands on a carrier, he has on a monkey suit so you can spot him from a plane. And a plane's coming in to approach the carrier. And he has a flag in each hand. One flag in one hand has to do with the altitude of the plane. And if you're coming in too low, he raises the flag like this and that means get it up. If you're coming in too high, he lowers the flag down like that. That means get your plane down, you're coming in too high, you're going to overshoot. Then he has his other hand, he has the flag, and that's the throttle hand flag. And at the proper time, if you make a proper approach, he keeps this level. And then he holds this one up, and just as you come down to hit the deck, he goes like this, and that means chop the throttle, stall and fall, boy, you're in. So it's quite different from any other kind of landing. When you're landing on ground, for example, you look at your own horizon. You sit back there and you horse that stick, and you look at your own horizon as you come in and you land that way. But when you land on a carrier, you, if you look at the horizon, you're dead. Instead, you have to look out and you have to look over this landing signal officer. And if he's giving you down, 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 then you horse the stick forward, you get your plane down a little low. And if you're too low, you give her some throttle and you ease back and get it up again. And then just at the right spot, you don't look at the carrier at all. You watch this landing signal officer the whole time. You keep your eye on him. You're flying in and you're watching him all the time. And then at the right moment, he gives you chop, then you, bing, you hit your throttle, and you horseback your stick, and you hit that deck, and you move along there, and then the hook catches you, and you come like that, and you do one jerk of the head, and you're in. Now, he said, uh, we lose a lot of people. A lot of people actually get killed because they take their eyes off the landing signal officer. In other words, instead of watching him, they try to do it like you do it on land, and they start looking for the deck of that carrier, and then, of course, they get themselves killed. They crash into the, chair, into the carrier or they overshoot and go into the drink. In other words, you have to keep your eyes on the LSO. And Jesus Christ is our LSO. And if you're going to be successful in the Christian life, if you're going to be successful with God, you have to keep your eyes on Christ.